Service versus hospitality. My favorite definition of service, good service means never having to ask for anything. But now Amazon's website is so good that it meets and even exceeds that definition. So let's dig a little deeper. Even though the two words are used interchangeably, there is a difference between service and hospitality. Service fulfills a need and hospitality fulfills people. You can get service from a website, a tablet, a kiosk, an ATM or a smartphone, but you can't get hospitality. Service is the delivery of a product and hospitality is how that delivery feels. But maybe it's irrelevant to debate or define service or hospitality when the most important measurement is repeat business. Consider NPS, the Net Promoter Score, in which customers answer this question. Will you come back and tell your friends and family about us? When all is said and done, ROC, return of customer, is the prime metric. Do the math. If you serve 100,000 guests annually, and you can get just 1% of them to visit you twice a month instead of once a month, that's 12,000 more guests per year. If their average spend is $15, you've just increased annual gross sales by $180,000. Banking a tidy profit since fixed costs remain relatively stable. Which is why Jerry Scott, CEO of Portland, Oregon-based Elmer says, if you're not increasing customer counts, you're losing market share. Amen, brother. So, what will bring guests back? Service, respect, food, quality, hospitality, smiles, crew, value, marketing, location, TripAdvisor, Yelp? The short answer is all of the above. If you haven't figured it out yet, service consists of a thousand little things that restaurant operators and their teams do every single day, day in and day out. A thousand little things that the guests may not even notice until we don't do them. Fix the experience before you spend one more dime on marketing.